Good morning. Uh, the rollout of Obamacare is nothing short of a debacle. And the American people are now fearful of their health care. I mean, they're downright scared about what's going to happen with their health care next year. And um, all we're hearing from the administration really uh, is is really unsatisfactory in terms of answers to the many, many unanswered questions. Yes, we all know the website doesn't work, and the administration keeps saying, well, just um, to, the, uh, to the subscribers who want to go on, uh, say, go and try again. Well, again, there's so many unanswered questions that that is adding to the fear of so many American people. And what's not helping is a lack of transparency on the part of this administration. Uh, they, this morning, I know that HHS officials will be up briefing the Democratic caucus. Uh, no intention initially to say that they were going to brief Republicans on what's going on. Last night, we learned that federal officials asked insurers not to release numbers uh, for the exchanges in terms of signups. We still don't know these enrollment numbers. And HHS is blocking third-party verified traffic data. This is not transparency, and this is adding to the confusion and the fears surrounding the rollout of Obamacare. Now, in a couple of months, the Obamacare mandate tax uh, is going to kick in, and many Americans are going to have to pay as much as 1 percent of their income uh, uh, to the federal government if they don't sign up on Obamacare. So how is that fair? I mean, with so many unanswered questions and the problems arising around this rollout, it doesn't make any sense to impose this 1 percent mandate tax on the American people. And that's why we Republicans remain committed to delaying that mandate tax of Obamacare so that finally we can get the answers that so many people are seeking and we can try and reassure the millions of Americans who are growing in their fear about what this all means for their health care.